This is a 2020 Nissan Altima all-wheel drive platinum trim edition. Today we're working with our friends at Nissan of Mankato in beautiful Mankato, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. And today, Nathan, what are we taking a look at? Today we're taking a look at the 2020 Nissan Altima with the Platinum package and it has the 2.5 liter engine in it. And it's all wheel drive. There you go. But say, before we do, if you want to keep up to date with all the cars, trucks, and SUVs that are out there, plus learn how to use all the technology that's built into these new vehicles, and you love cool collector car stories, take a moment to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification up above so you never miss a video. That's right, Nate, so what do you say? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right, so today we are out driving the 2020 Nissan Altima uh, Platinum all-wheel drive edition. Yep and it does have the 2.5 liter engine in it. And, you know, as far as just a ride, it's very comfortable. It absorbs the bumps really nicely, uh, as you would expect it to do, um, but makes for a very pleasant ride. It's very comfortable. Um, you know, the seats are nicely cushioned, not too much support, not too little. Um, and uh, it's in terms of getting in and out, the car's low enough to the ground, it's very easy to get in the front and to get in the rear and back out again. In terms of, uh, you know, accessing all the control systems in the car and audio and navigation and the driver's information area, everything's on your steering wheel, uh, just about everything. Um, but the only thing you have to do physically and reach over would be for climate control. And that's nicely laid out here yeah. with big knobs, easy to feel without like, your eyes leaving the road. And uh, so that's very nice. And you also have voice command for um, most of the functions on your radio, but not for climate control. So everything is easy to reach. Uh, it is easy to park and maneuver with the 360 camera. Yeah. Um, you can see frontwards up to about, uh, I didn't look exactly, so it's gonna be around 10, 10, 15, 20 miles an hour. The front camera will cut out somewhere in there. Um, but it has one of the best side views. Not only gives you the right view, doesn't give you the left side, but um, boy, you can clearly see your entire tire. Uh, you can see the spokes in the rim, um, but a really clear side view when you're parking next to a curb. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, but just, yeah, it would be very easy to park and maneuver um, in, in a parking lot. All right, overall, I really like it. It's nice and quiet on the inside too. Yeah. All right, that being said, we're gonna hand it over to Rob and he's gonna give us uh, his opinion and, and talk about a few things. Okay, so my turn, Nathan is taking a sabbatical. <laughs> he's in the back seat. It's, it's fun to always try to see how that's like because yeah. either for your kids or your friends, if you go out uh, to places, you're gonna haul them in the back seat. So yeah, not bad at all. Um, you know, talking about interior sound and how quiet it is, you, you pick up a little road noise, but that's to be expected and uh, could be not as much to do with the vehicle as it is the actual tires that are on here. It is all-wheel drive, so they might be, uh, I know they're all-season tires, so they may be a little different compound that transmits a little bit more noise, but overall, it's a pretty quiet cabin. Mm -hmm. We can just have a regular basic conversation at, at conversation levels without shouting and we're not fighting the wind noise or anything. Um, acceleration, you know, it does have, I'm going to punch it here because I'm not doing the speed limit. It does have decent acceleration from it. You know, I'll cover the horsepower and torque on it just a little bit um, in my outside review. But it does have that CVT, so you do have a little bit of that groan. And you don't have the actual gear changes, so it kind of goes... Um, 
you know, it's okay. It's good for fuel mileage, and, uh, you know, once you get used to it, it is what it is. More and more cars are, are coming with CVTs now. Uh, interior fit and finish and trim, it's very nice in here. I like it. A lot of nice soft touch areas. Uh, center console is really nice. I don't like the shiny, glossy piano black finish that they have around the the center console, the shifter, and the uh, door panels. Only reason I don't is my own personal preference. I th just think over time that will age uh, poorly, and that's kind of cool. I did that on purpose, Nathan. I went into the next lane without signaling, and it tried to keep me back in my lane, and uh, it actually slowed me down a little bit uh, to one of the safety systems that's on here. So this does have uh, blind spot monitoring. It's got Pro Pilot Assist that keeps you in your lane. It's got, um, oh gosh, what does it not have? There's a lot of cool There's safety, lot of safety features, features on this, and I'll go over those as well, and then Nathan will show you some of those that are built in when he does his interior review. One of the cool things I like, more and more cars, I do have the adaptive cruise, that's another safety feature. One of the things that I do like is that it does have uh, speed limit sign recognition and it's, it's showing in the dashboard right now and I really do like that. Anyway, not bad, uh, pretty quiet, nice fit and finish, great uh, safety systems built into this from Nissan. Does it have a heated steering wheel? Yes. Oh, I just felt that. I like it. <laughs> All right, so coming up next, uh, I'm going to take you for a review of the outside. Then later, Nathan will show you all the technology and give you a tour of the inside. Plus, we're also going to cut a separate video to show you how to use all the different uh, bells and whistles and technology features built into this vehicle. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Spending $1,350 extra for the occasional traction uh, boost brought on by all-wheel drive is a smart move if you regularly encounter snow-covered roads during your winter drives. In fact, it's only slightly more expensive than a good set of snow tires. The Altima's all-wheel drive sends power exclusively to the front wheels during regular highway cruising or load-speed driving over dry pavement. Now, the system will send as much as 50% of engine torque to the rear axle uh, to, to help maintain momentum and improve stability once slippage is detected. This is the 2020 Nissan Altima 2.5 Platinum all-wheel drive sedan. This particular vehicle is presented here in scarlet ember tent coat with a light gray leather interior. MSRP is $37,785. Now, Nissan offers five different trim levels for the Altima. The S starting at $24,995, the SR starting at $26,595, the SV starting at $28,775, the SL starts at $31,135, and the Platinum starting at $33,075. Now this is powered by a 2.5 liter direct injection gasoline double overhead cam 16 valve four cylinder engine producing 182 horsepower, 178 foot pound of torque. It is driven by a variable valve timing uh, control system with intelligent all wheel drive. So that is a CVT transmission. Now out front, we do have active grille shutters to help with the aerodynamics. It has intelligent auto on off uh, headlights, LED headlights with signature lighting. It does have LED fog lights and it does have what Nissan calls their chrome V-Motion grille. There are also front parking sensors uh, and it does have acoustic laminated glass and it does have a power sliding glass moonroof. Let's take a look around the side. Okay, along the side, you do have the body colored power heated outside mirrors with LED turn signal integrators and mirror memory. This does also have the chrome door handles and the quick uh, little button for lock unlock. And it does have the chrome belt line trim and the black window frame trim uh, on all sides. Now we do see 19 inch aluminum alloy machined wheels with painted accents and they're wrapped in P23540 VR19 all season tires. 
11.7 inch front vented disc with 11 inch rear solid brake disc with anti-lock braking system and electronic brake force distribution. This does have four wheel independent suspension with independent strut front suspension and a multi-link independent rear suspension and twin tube struts uh, and monotube, monotube rear shock absorbers as well as front and rear stabilizer bars. There's also dual pinion electrically powered speed sensing steering so it adjusts to your speed and makes it a little easy easier to drive. Okay, Nissan does package this vehicle with quite a few of the driver assistance technologies. Uh, just to name a few, you've got the Pro Pilot Assist. It's also got intelligent forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, uh, intelligent lane intervention, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, uh, intelligent uh, around or surround view monitor, rear sonar system, rear automatic braking, uh, and also does have vehicle dynamic control with traction control. It has active brake limited slip, it has active ride intelligent trace control, uh, and it also has hill start assist and automatic brake hold and traffic stop recognition or traffic sign recognition, uh, intelligent driver alertness. So many safety features this vehicle, Nissan has packed onto this vehicle. They're amazing. We've listed them on the screen and we'll list them down below in the description as well. Let's take a look out back. Okay, out back you do have the body colored rear bumper, body colored rear diffuser, it does have rear parking sensors, you do have the chrome exhaust, uh, dual chrome exhaust finishers, and you do have a lip spoiler and I do like the, um, the chrome strip here on the bumper as well. Now trunk cargo volume is 15.4 cubic feet. And you can see that inside we've got our little display uh, luggage here uh, carry-on size luggage and this does actually have the compact spare tire with uh, all your tire tools and everything as well really nice lots of cargo room all right weight and dimensions as uh, curb weights 3462 pounds the width is 72.9 inches overall length 192.9 Front track is 63.2 and rear track is 63.2. Overall height is 57.4 inches. It does ride on a wheelbase of 111.2 inches and it does have a ground clearance of 5.4 inches. Turning circle, 37.4 feet. Now fuel tank capacity is 16.2 gallons. On the safety front, Again, this has intelligent lane intervention, blind spot warning, rear uh, cross traffic alert, traffic sign recognition, and loads, loads more. Uh, performance. Performance, well, the Altima SR is capable of zero to 60 in 7.2 seconds and the quarter mile of 15.8 seconds. Uh, this is the Platinum, so I'm hoping that's right about that same range. I couldn't find any information about that. Zero, uh, 70 to zero braking, 170 feet. Now, appearance. It does have rather long overhangs and a kind of sedate exterior with a few interesting design lines. Dependability. Uh, it does have a basic warranty of 36 months, 36,000 miles. Powertrain warranty is 60 months, 60,000 miles. And you do have roadside assistance for 36 months, uh, 36,000 miles. Economy. Fuel economy ratings are 25 city, uh, 20, uh, excuse me, 35 highway and 29 combined. Now, a few of the pros and cons, uh, this pros, it definitely offers a full suite of semi-automated driving features. I listed some of those and Nathan will show you those as well. Uh, it does have above average estimated and real life fuel economy scores. Uh, it has an easy to drive nature as well. Some of the cons, poor outward visibility due to the thick roof pillars and kind of a low res rear camera Plus the steering lacks a little road feel and it can be kind of slow to respond. Interior materials, a little uninspiring and um, just not up to what I particularly like, but that's okay, you may like it. Just one of my cons. Okay, 
So next up, Nathan is going to take you on a tour of the interior and show you all the bells and whistles and technology built into this 2020 Nissan Altima. So what do you say, Nate? Take it away. All right, and on the inside of the 2020 Nissan Altima, Platinum Edition, we have a beautiful door here. I like the dark gray and the uh, off-white leather uh, door here this parts i think it looks really nice um you do have auto up and down front windows you have uh standard rear windows you have a window lockout your lawn lock lock buttons and then your mirror controls as well as a two-person memory setting for the driver's seat uh, driver's seat uh moving over here you do have an eight-way power driver's seat not including a two-position lumbar so 10-way power total and very nice leather seats now the seat itself uh, on the passenger side is a four-way power as you can see so it's tilt and then slide forward backwards all right moving down here a really cool little ultima logo that lights up when you open up the door and moving inside here you got a, a left foot rest and you got your um, hood release in the front you got your gas tank release right here you do have up here you have the steering assist systems, you have your trunk open button, your brightness and dimness for your dash, and then a trip reset. Okay. All right, let's step in and take a look at this. All right, so uh, on the inside here, uh, you've got a uh, driver's information center right here, which is really nice, that's all digital. And then you have uh, analog uh, gauges uh, left and right. So you got uh, tack over here and, and uh, I'll turn it on in a second here and you can see what it looks like when it starts up. Um, I like how the dials spin around and you got a little Altima spinning in the middle. But this is your uh, driver's information center and then an analog tack and um, heat gauge for your engine and then speedometer and fuel gauge all right uh, it is a tilt and telescoping uh, steering wheel it's manual the release levers underneath where you expect it to be uh, on the steering wheel itself you've got some audio controls on the left you got volume up and down and then you have forward backwards and then you have um, four arrows and an okay button for your driver's information center as well as a back button all right moving on over here you have got your cruise control settings here you've got your pro pilot assist over here uh, which does your lane centering and your dynamic cruise control and then of course you have uh, phone on or off and then you have your voice command which uh, will run pretty much everything on the navigate on the uh, infotainment screen but uh, not climate all right uh, it's got a nice sports steering wheel. It's got a flat bottom. It's leather wrapped. Okay. Um, otherwise, you got your windshield wiper controls over here, and then your uh, and your uh, turn signals on the right, or the sorry, the left, and then as well as your light control at the end of the stick. Okay. Moving on over to the infotainment screen. Um, it is a touch screen, uh, but you do have a plethora of physical buttons down below so basically you have uh, your volume on and off tune and scroll and then you've got a day night mode where you can then change the brightness of the screen like that okay you can also um, you can also you do this manually so you can adjust it infinitely all right so basically the way this is set up is that uh, it does have navigation. You're then all these icons at the bottom are your navigation. You do have a main menu and you do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, as well as Bluetooth. And then of course you have a USB connection for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It is a nine speaker Bose sound system. The one thing I'll mention here is you do have a separate camera button, which then you can activate the 360 surround, sound, uh, surround view camera. All right, moving on down, you have your hazard buttons right here. I like it when it's just nice and big and obvious. And then down here, you have dual zone auto climate control. And you do have the standard um, buttons down here for mode and recirculatory and that kind of stuff. Um, your AC button is located over here, as well as your sync button. I love it when they have a physical sync button. Otherwise, you just set your temperatures normally I like the digital displays. This does have two-stage heated seats in the front, so those are over here. 
And then you do have a heated steering wheel, which is really, really nice. All right, moving on down, uh, you have a storage tray right here. This could be used for, you know, it fits a large size phone and it's not a wireless charger, but does make for a nice storage tray. <clears throat> you do have a USB-C, a regular USB, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, in addition to a 12 volt outlet. Okay, moving on back a little bit, you do have your start stop button right here for the engine. And then uh, you have just standard gear selector right here. You have dual cup holders in the front with a pass through in the middle so you can lay something else in there if you want. It does have an electronic parking brake and this is where you would turn your auto hold feature on or off. Now an auto hold, you will have to push the brake to the floor and you'll have to watch your dashboard because there'll be a light that comes on and it changes color when the auto hold is set. So make sure you watch that when you're using that or your car will roll forward. Moving on back to the center armrest console. This is very nice and thick. This is also leather covered as are the seats. And if I lift this up, you have a slideable or well, a movable two position tray here does have a little felt in the bottom okay we'll take that out and then down here you have got a pretty nice deep storage and there's a nice felt uh bottom in here which is removable uh i would presume for good cleaning all right moving on over to the glove compartment it is a lockable glove compartment and you have some nice size storage inside there all right, so moving on up here, you have our uh, automatic dimming rear view mirror. And there is two buttons. One uh, will shut it off. You see the light go out and one will turn it on. And then you have three home link buttons. Now, uh, up here, you have a sunglass holder. And then you have your reading lights over here. You have all the lights on or off. And then you have, you can set it to, you know, to come on when the door is open or not to come on when the door is open. This is your emergency SOS uh, call button for the Nissan Connect services. And then um, there's nothing up here. And then this is your sunroof. So it is a manually sliding sunroof. And then it, it will open and close with this button. Okay. Uh, as far as the visors go, these are backlit here. And if I pop them out, they are telescoping on both sides here. All right, let's step into the back and take a look. <laughs> All right, so back here uh, on the door, you do have the nice door handles. You do have the piano black trim as in the front along with your window control and a bottle storage down here. Now, what's interesting is I know Rob can't see this, but when you look at it, there's two little emblems. One shows a bottle and one shows a cup, and there's definitely an X through the cup. He can show you on that side, which I think is interesting. So it is not a cup holder. It is a bottle holder. So uh, as far as the seats go back here, I sat on this on the ride, and they're very comfortable. All right, so the seats in the back do fold forwards, but you have to get into the trunk to do it. So all you do is just pull that out, and then on the other side, you've got one for that side. And now we can fold. All right, so now if I grab this seat, it'll fold forward. And if I grab that one, it'll fold forward as well. So you do have some pass-through and some extra long storage that you can do in this car. Now, in addition to that, you've got a cup holder here in the armrest, which of course you can move back if you want. And then down in here, you've got your air vent controls. And you do have, again, a standard USB and a USB-C. All right, so let's talk about legroom and headroom. So again, I'm five foot uh, 11 and a half inches. And this seat was where we left it for driving. And I have got, wow, four to five inches of legroom. And then in terms of headroom, I've got yeah, about a good inch. I'm definitely not going to hit the roof at all. Now, in addition to that, the all the doors have a grab handle except for the driver's side. And then you have lighting controls here in the rear. Overall, very comfortable. 
Okay, on my favorite thing on this vehicle, I really do like this floating roof design that from a distance, it does make it look like that is a floating roof design, uh, roof with that uh, blacked out space right there. So that is my favorite thing. All right, one of my favorite things is this backup camera. And I really like how it identifies uh, where an object is outside your car by lighting up those little yellow areas as the person walks around or the object is. I also like on here that you got this uh, right side camera. It shoots only to the front, doesn't go to the rear, but what a clear picture. Look at that wheel. I mean, you can see the spokes in it. So you can see very clearly what's standing and right next to your car. My favorite thing. All right, so on the back door, you've got the nice uh, nickel, what's that called again? <laughs> Brush nickel aluminum accent. All right, so on the back door, you, you continue with the same nice brushed nickel um, aluminum accent. 